Hi, welcome to Home Italian Cooking. I'm Cara, and today we're gonna make chicken tetrazzini. Um, I'm very excited about this dish. My husband requested it for dinner tonight, and we're about to assemble it. So I've got everything ready, and let me tell you, first of all, the ingredients that we're gonna do. So I've got here, I've actually just took out of the water, I've uh, cooked al dente, one pound of fettuccine noodles. These are ready to go. I've got a couple boxes of chicken stock. I love this brand, it works very well. Um, I've got uh, some cut up white chicken breast that's you know nice and moist. I've got a pound of white button mushrooms that have been sliced. We've got a cup of peas. We've got a, uh, one medium sized onion that's been chopped. Some fresh thyme. I've got some flour, red and black pepper stick of butter and we're gonna put in some fresh nutmeg. So with that, um, we're gonna start with the sauce. We're gonna make the cream sauce first. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so the first step, we've melted the butter uh, in the pan, I've got it nice and hot. And we're going to put our onions in and let these cook for a bit. All right, so I've got the onion soft. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt at this point. And I'm gonna add a pinch of the pepper. Get that mixed in. And now, we're gonna make a roux. And this is one of the most important steps in the sauce. So this is a half a cup of flour to one, cup, one stick of butter. And I'm gonna sprinkle most of it in, not quite all of it, and see how this goes. And I'm. You'll see I'm stirring this so that it absorbs all the butter. And it's gonna become a th very thick paste and that's what we want. We're gonna let this cook. We want the flour to cook. And this looks very sticky and messy but that's exactly what you want at this point. It's looking quite perfect. Let it bubble in very nice. They can start to see the butter and the flour foam up a little bit. All right, so I think that's all the flour we're gonna put in, because I think this is just right. So, just short of a half a cup. And let it cook. Now, the next step, in order to start to, uh, you see it's starting to turn a nice brown, and that's what we're really looking for. All right, so the next step is to slowly start adding our chicken broth. Can you hear the sizzle? Well, that's a, about a quarter of the box of stock and you'll see it's gonna thicken up very quick. It absorbed it. You start to see this come together. It's gonna take a lot of stock. So I'm gonna put the rest of this in. Beautiful, I love this chicken stock. It has a lot of flavor. And now we're gonna just keep stirring this and blend this really well. So the flour dissolves in. You're gonna start to see a wonderful thick sauce emerge. All right, we'll let this cook a little more. Now one important thing when you're making a casserole with pasta noodles is that you want it to be, um, have a lot more sauce than you think because the noodles will absorb the sauce when you're cooking this in the oven. So if it seems a little runny or thin, that's okay, it will thicken up. Remember there's also starch in the noodles too. So as this comes to a boil, you will see the uh, wonderful effects of a roux start to take place, okay. So I've got this stirred up pretty nice. We've got a beautiful chickeny color. The next step that we need to do while this is starting to cook is add a tablespoon of olive oil to a pan and we are gonna saute our mushrooms separately. And you wanna do that because you don't want the mushrooms to be interfering with the thickening of the sauce. So we'll cook these separately and we're going to layer them into the casserole when they're ready. So we'll get that started and I'm just gonna let these start to cook over a nice high heat. 
and those will be cooking in no time. All right, I'm going back to our sauce, and you can see it's really getting beautiful and thick right now. So it's time to add um, our thyme. So, all right, so you can see I've got fresh sprig of thyme here. And the way you do is you just strip it off with your fingers. And if you go backwards, it comes off really easy. And throw away the stem. Show it again. Hold it, go backwards, strip it with your fingers, and there you go. And I'm going to do one more. Take it, go backwards, and just strip it off. Got a beautiful time in there. Now, let's, all right, hopefully you've got one of these at home. If not, just use ground nutmeg. But I've got a nutmeg in here, and we're going to grind in, oh, that looks right. I'd say it's less than a half a teaspoon. Maybe, what was that, five grinds? So this comes in very handy. I love fresh nutmeg. It's always better to do spices fresh if you can. All right, and so now we're gonna add a little more of our pepper mixture. And continue stirring this all together. I'm gonna turn the heat down. It's a little high, and we're gonna softly cook this. All right, at this point, I'm going to add, I think, a little more stock because I don't want it too thick, as I had said before. So I'm going to throw a splash more in. Look how beautiful. Look at this color. Delicious. All right. It's just, you can you see how silky and it's a nice thick. It's sticking to the spoon, coats the spoon. That's how you know you've got the right consistency. Kind of check the mushrooms. Doing good. All right, now, this is the part time when we add the marsala. And I'm going to add about a half a cup. And this rounds out the liquid. This marsala is from Sicily. It's from the, t from the town of Marsala. It's a beautiful dry wine. Do not use the sweet marsala. I do like the dry for cooking. We've got all these flavors. We've got the right thickness. And now we're going to add our chicken. And I'm just gonna dump this all in. And this chicken's gonna start to heat up. And you can see how velvety and luscious this is with the fresh thyme. Okay, now at this, at this point, I am going to um, get a spoon and I am going to test for seasoning, for salt. Definitely need salt. Okay, gonna throw in a little handful of salt for sure. And I think we're going to touch more pepper. Okay, beautiful, we've got all that. I'm gonna check my mushrooms here, make sure they're sauteing nicely. And they are getting a nice brown color. All right, so we've got the mushrooms just about brown. And the next step is I'm going to add a cup of peas. Now, these are frozen peas. I prefer them to can. Um, I just let them thaw, so they might slightly still be cool in the center. Um, but that's okay, they're going to cook in the sauce and when we have it in the dish, gives it a nice pop of green in there and those are cooking nicely. And I think we're ready. Let's check these mushrooms. Yeah, they're looking nice and sauteed, beautiful. I'm gonna turn these off and we're just going to pop them right in. Beautiful. Okay. Now we've got chicken, mushroom, peas, marsala, and this beautiful creamy sauce. But we have one more ingredient that's going to set this off to make it perfect. And that is going to be the parm grated Parmesan cheese. Now I'm using the canned, it's a good Italian brand of grated Parmesan. 
we're not gonna pull out our aged two year Parmesan for this. That's more for eating with bread and things, but this is perfect for cooking. So we're gonna throw in, that's probably a good cup of cheese and we'll save the rest for the topping in the casserole. All right, so we're mixing this all in and it smells divine. The te texture looks right. It's chunky. I think this is gonna turn out really well. So now we're ready to assemble the tetrazzini. So the first step, now this is our cooled off pasta and we're going to put this inside the uh, casserole. Hmm, a little sticky, it's okay. This will all, like a nice bed of linguine or fettuccine. All right, so now I'm going to pour our thick sauce over the noodles. And this is gonna soften those noodles up. Okay, we've got, got it all. And now, let's, last step, I'm gonna take of course, more Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna sprinkle a nice layer on top. And I'll put that over here. And on top of that, I still like to eyeball a little breadcrumbs. Gives it a nice little topping and helps absorb a little bit of the uh, butter sauce that will bubble up. Okay, that is our casserole. Um, it's done. So now we're gonna pop it in the oven. I've got the oven heated, uh, it's at 350. Uh, so it's kind of slow, we don't wanna burn it. We're gonna cook this for about 45 minutes. And when it's done, it's gonna be delicious. All right, it's been about 40 minutes. I can smell this casserole cooking. It's the Parmesan, it's the Marsala, it just smells delicious and I know it's done. So let's check it. I'm gonna go over to the oven and oh, it's bubbling and it's brown and golden on the top. Oh, this looks and smells perfect. And it's very heavy. All right, I'm gonna lift this over. I hope you can see that. Um, it's bubbling on the edges. Let me to get this off. Okay. Check this out. Look at that sauce coming through in a mushroom. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. That's some chicken. And let's get some noodles with that. Oh, there we go. Oh, Tom is going to love this. Now this is too hot to eat. So we're going to let this just sit for a minute. Set that down. So I tell you, this is a big casserole to make on a weekend. Um, but it will be fantastic leftovers. You can just, you know, scoop out a thing late at night and have some, you know, heat it up in the microwave. You can serve a family. You can just nibble on it all week long. And I don't know if you can see that, but I've got sauteed mushroom and a big piece of chicken and the Parmesan crust on the top. So let's see if we can get a little bite here. Make sure it's not too warm. Oh my God, is that good? Oh, the flavors, you could, I could taste the nutmeg. Like the thyme comes through. It's very velvety and smooth and I could taste the butter and the cheese and the meaty, the chicken broth really adds a lot of richness to it. I hope you tried chicken tetrazzini, Italian style. Thank you for joining me today and uh, subscribe below. Recipe will be posted below as well and hope to see you next time. Bye.